hello this is a video lecture on vlsi testing and testability and today's topic is boundary scan what is boundary scan it is used to control and observe io pins of the chip what it does is it will isolate io pins from the chip main chip logic for efficient testing a scan path is created by connecting all the boundary scan sets an example for boundary scan architecture is jtag it is proposed by idripple here is a example or here is a figure of chip with boundary scan architecture this is the main chip logic and we have boundary scan cells here all the rectangular cells are nothing but boundary scan cells and we have inputs this side and outputs and each one is driven by a driver tri state buffer and we have two additional io pins one is tdi and another one is tdo where tdi is test data input and tdo is test data output and this is a tap controller test access port which will issue command to control the different modes of the testing now we will see what is that boundary scan cell boundary scan cell consists of two muxes and two flip flops and we have four inputs tdi shift clock update clock and one output tdo and one more controlling signal is mode and data in and data output are the main input and output of the chip so here we have four modes of operations and we have four control signals so those control signals are tck that is test clock tms test mode signal tdi test data input and tdo is the test data output these are the four control signals which control the different modes of the boundary scan cell in normal mode mode will be zero so in the previous diagram in this mode will be zero so it will operate in normal mode. that means whatever data you give here that will come out so testing is nowhere appear in the picture so you give the data in and you take the data out another mode is scan mode here all the scan cells are interconnected so for this shift should be 1 and you have to apply clock pulses so in the previous figure if shift equal to 1 the tdi input is applied and you have to apply scan clock also and you will get the output tdo now tdo of the first boundary scan cell is connected as the tdi of the second boundary scan cell. so likewise all the boundary scan cells will form a serial shift register third mode is capture mode here shift will be zero and you have to apply data clocks sorry scan clock what is capture mode so in the capture mode whatever you have applied is data in that will be stored in the flip flop so whatever you have applied in the data in that will be stored in the flip flop for that you should have shift equal to zero and you have to apply scan clock and last mode is update mode here mode will be 1 and you have to apply update clocks so here when mode is 1 whatever you have data stored in this flip flop that you can pop out on this data out pin for that you have to apply update clock and mode should be mode should be 1 next we will see the typical boundary scan architecture so it will have 
these registers one is test data register device id register boundary scan register and bypass registers and we have a mux and this is a like a control unit text access point and we have a instruction register and decoder this is a typical architecture of a boundary scan here whatever control signal you want to apply you have to apply through these pins tdi tck and tfs and this instruction register all the instruction will be stored and after the decoder they will be executed and we have several register this test data register is nothing but whatever test data we want to give it will be stored in that register second one is a device id register it is an optional here device id or any chip related information can be stored it's an optional third one is boundary scan register here all the boundaries scan cells are connected serially to form a serial shift register i will again show this figure in the next slide next we have bypass register here bypass register when it is enabled it will bypass this boundary scan register so what is the use when many chips are on a single board you want to avoid boundary scan test of a particular chip then you can enable this so that the boundary scan cells of that particular chip will be avoided so you can save those many clock pulses next whatever here operation is given explained in the next slide so test instruction data they have to be sent serially over tda data so here tda all the test instruction and data you have to send serially then the selected test circuitry is configured to respond so how which mode it is configured based on that the correspondent register will be activated test results can be shifted out of selected register and transmitted over tdo to bus master that means whatever data you want either you want boundary scan register data or device id register whatever that you want to see you can select accordingly through this mux and pass it through this tdo so apply data serially at tdi and observe data on tdo serially but you have to use appropriate control signal tap it is it controls the different modes of operation and clock that is this one this one is a tap and miscellane register i already explained it refers to device identifying register user data register etc bypass register this also i have explained before now we will see what is this boundary scan register so boundary scan register is nothing but all the io cells and chip logic and how they are connected serial so this boundary scan register will have the main chip logic and all the boundary scan cells these are all boundary scan cells and these are input and output and tda and td so particularly it represents the boundary scan cells of a chip so this is the brief introduction about boundary scan architecture thank you